Hi, I'm Dr. Joseph Riggio. Welcome to my new edition of Smoking with Joe. Here at Little Taste of Cuba in Princeton, New Jersey, one of the finest cigar shops that I know about. I've been smoking since I'm 18 years old. Enjoying a cigar, having a good time, talking to people like you. And as you may know, I'm an expert in communication and performance, specifically elite performance. And I want to talk to you a little bit about what's on my mind today. What's on my mind is last week, seemed to be a week of deaths, and it followed through this week, too. Last week, we had Ed McMahon, the famous co-host of The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, passed away. That beautiful woman from Charlie's Angels, Farrah Fawcett, she passed away, too. Michael Jackson, the pop star of the century, some people say, passed away. My God, what's happening? you got to wonder, right? What's going on? Is there something here, something in the water these days? But I don't want to talk to you about any of those three. I want to talk to you about one more person who passed away. A guy named Billy Mays, a guy you may or may not remember, but I'm sure you know of him if you watch any TV at all. Billy Mays is the guy who starts out those commercials saying, Hi, I'm Billy Mays, and I want to introduce you to OxyClean. OxyClean, the laundry detergent made with fresh oxygen, and he went on and on and on, and he passed away too. And he was actually the co-host of a special TV series on Discovery Channel called The Pitchman with another guy called Anthony Sullivan. These were guys who made their living pitching products. These were the old carnival busters, the guys who went in, set up a table, took out their products, laid them out, and talked about what it was they were going to sell to those good people today. Pots and pans, brushes, brooms, vacuums, and Billy Mays, of course, with his laundry detergent, and a few other products you may have seen him advertise on national television. What made this guy extraordinary, though, was the fact that he was able to work with people in a unique way. He was able to touch people on a personal level. He exposed himself in those commercials, in the way he pitched those products. And what made Billy Mays so special in every way was the fact that he really stood behind the products that he worked with. He believed in those products. He would vet every product that he worked with and advertised and pitched for. He had to believe in it first himself. And you know what? In my opinion, that came through. You can't fake that stuff. You can't fake sincerity. You can't fake authenticity. Maybe some of the time you can get away with it. Maybe with some of the people you can get away with it. But you can't get away with it year after year, month after month, with everyone. Somebody eventually picks up. And when they do, the stink increases. And people stop wanting to believe anything you have to say. So think about it. When you're doing what you do, whatever it is you do, is that how you operate? Do you operate from sincerity, authenticity? Are you who you are? Or are you putting on a show, you're making up some identity that's got nothing to do with you? I made a decision to make these videos here, a little taste of Cuba and Princeton, because I come here anyway, I hang out with the guys, we have a smoke together, we solve the world's problems, then we go home to our families, we have a nice night, a nice dinner, but this is part of my life. So I made the decision to share part of my life with you by making these videos. That's what I mean by being sincere. Finding a way to do what you do, day in and day out, by being who you are. It doesn't make sense to make stuff up. You don't want to have to separate your life into this compartment and that compartment. You don't want to have to be somebody different when you go to work every day or do whatever it is that you do, and then you go home to your family. That Jekyll and Hyde personality, it doesn't work for anybody. And in fact, most people get it wrong. Most people get the Jekyll and Hyde part backwards. You see, they're Dr. Jekyll, at the office, they're Dr. Jekyll with the people they say aren't important to them. They make sure that the clients that they work with see them in the best possible light. Then they go home, and all that stress, all that frustration of having to separate their lives into two separate parts shows up and they become Mr. Hyde at home. They become the monster with their family. They become the person that nobody wants to be around because they know they can get away with it. See, their wife will put up with it, or their husband will put up with it, or their kids will put up with it. In a way, they don't have any choice. But they know they have to be nice to their clients. They know they have to be nice to their boss. But to me, this is insane. It doesn't make any sense at all. And the only way around this that I know is by being who you are. Being the same person day in, day out, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year. And then you have a life worth living. So that's what I got to say to you today. Maybe someday you'll join me, you'll come down to Princeton, we'll have a smoke together, and we'll talk face to face. Until then, I hope you're enjoying my videos. By the way, what I'm smoking today is a Nesta Miranda. It's a fabulous cigar. Balanced, delicious, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of it, but hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day too. Once again, this is Dr. Joseph Richard. If you want to know a little bit more, visit me on my website, 
at www.josephregio.com. You know I have a lot to say, and I'll be back again.